the purpose of this video is to familiarize my students with the types of calculators that we use in the classroom. It's Texas Instruments Model TI-15. Now this uh, is going to be the calculator that we'll use uh, with our regular classroom uh, work as well as the calculator that students will use during um, K prep testing. I apologize for uh, any camera shake or anything like that, but I'm uh, holding the um, my webcam uh, by hand so that I can uh, show close up of what I want students to pay close attention to. Now, this is a solar power uh, a solar powered uh, calculator and the little solar panel is right here so it's good to be in a well-lit room however I have used these calculators in dimly lit rooms during demonstrations and they work fairly well one of the things I would uh, like to point out is we have our on and off switch right here uh, our on and off switch uh, will turn it on and it will turn it off it will also do something for us that I recommend uh, people do every time they turn on their calculator. It'll also allow us to, to clear the memory, but we have to do that with two buttons. We have uh, the clear button here, and we have the uh, on off button here. So if you'll hold them down simultaneously and then release them, it'll show memory clear. Then all you have to do is just hit clear and you're ready to work. I highly recommend that students always clear their calculator before they work just in case somebody else might have messed it up or done something to it or uh, tried to solve a problem before you. Now, the purpose of this video, uh, introducing my students to this calculator, is to teach them how to use this calculator when adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing fractions. Now the uh, buttons will be most important for us, the features, and I guess I'll have to pull away to try to get a little clearer, is we'll need this button that says unit on it. We'll need this where we have a lowercase n over a fraction bar. This is a numerator button. We may or may not use the denominator button. Um, we have a feature here which is good for converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. Uh, we also have a button here which will convert fractions to decimals. And another button that's very important when we're working with fractions is this one here. It says SIMP, which is uh, shortened for simplify. And of course, we have our number area and our enter button. And here are our operations. We have addition, subtraction, multiply, divide. And then this um, division button will provide you with a remainder. This division button, if there is a remainder, will be converted into uh, decimals. Now, the first problem that I want to show you how to solve is uh, 3 and a half plus 4 and 2 thirds. Now, <coughs> The way I would solve this problem is the first thing I would do is I would press uh, 3 and then I'd press the unit button. And when you press the unit button, it automatically lets us, the calculator know that we have a whole and then we have a fractional part. So all I did was I typed in 3 and the unit button and then it automatically popped up a place where I can put my numerator. Now I said that this mixed number was going to be three and a half, so I'm going to go ahead and put one. And now after I press the one key, I want to press this numerator button. That way it has told the calculator that that is the numerator. And now I can just go ahead and put my two in for my denominator. Now when I have three and a half here like this, I'm not going to bother pressing the D button or anything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and press plus. Now, this time, I'm going to type in 4. I'm pressing 4. The unit button, one more time, to let the calculator know that we're working with a mixed number. 2 is my numerator, so I'm going to press the N button. And then I'm going to press the 3. So I have here 3.5 plus 4 and 2 thirds. Now I'm going to hit the Enter button. 
there are buttons right down here. And it gave me 8 and 1 sixth. 8 and 1 sixth. Now, notice that there's, it's just 8 and 1 sixth. Sometimes when you're solving uh, fraction problems, you may get a mixed number or a fraction that's not all the way simplified. And in that instance, you'll want to press the simplify button and then hit enter again. Now because 8 and 1 sixth is as simplified as uh, it already, then we got 8 and 1 sixth again. Now I'm going to clear and I'm going to demonstrate how to do uh, subtracting mixed numbers. This time I'm going to press the 5 button. I'm going to hit unit and you'll notice I always press my button number and then I press unit or numerator. And this time we have a 1 because it's 1 third. I'm going to press N and now it's gone down to the numerator part. I'm going to press 3 so I have 5 and 1 third and I want subtract and I'm going to hit 2 and because that's my whole number I'm going to put unit and now I'll say 4 for my numerator and I'll press the end button again and then my denominator is 7. Then all I have to do is hit equal. And it gave me 2 and 16 over 21. Now I know that's already simplified, but I always like to double check just to make sure. I'm going to hit the simp simplify button and hit enter. And notice that my answer did not change. It was 2 and 16 over 21 here, and it remained 2 and 16 over 21. Now I'm going to hit the clear button, <clears throat> and I'm going to demonstrate how to multiply mixed numbers. This time we're going to uh, focus on three and a half times four and two thirds, the same mixed numbers we did when we added. So I'm going to start off with three and then I'm going to hit the unit button, then one, and I'm going to hit the numerator button, two. So there's my three and a half, and then I'm going to hit the multiply button, and then I'm going to type in four, and the unit button, and then two. That's my numerator, so I'll press numerator, and then at my denominator, I'm going to press three, and then I'm going to hit enter. Now this time, you'll notice I have uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's just numerator over denominator and an arrow and numerator over denominator. And that's because 16 and 2 sixths is not simplified. We need to simplify that. So I'm going to press the simplify button here, and I'm going to hit enter, and now it is simplified. But sometimes students, they just want to make sure that it's simplified, so they'll press it again, and it won't mess their answer up. And once again, it's 16 and 1 thirds, so they know that answer is simplified. So 3 and a half times 4 and 2 thirds is 16 and 1 third. Now, let's try uh, dividing. So I'm going to hit clear. And this time we'll use the problem, the, the mixed numbers when we subtract the mixed numbers. 5 and a third divided by 2 and 4 sevenths. So I'm going to press 5, and I'm going to press the unit button now. Uh, one, that's my numerator. I'll press the numerator button, so now I'm able to type in a three for my uh, <coughs> denominator, then divide. Now, I don't want to use this division part here for a remainder because I am working with fractions. I'm just going to uh, use this divide because any remainder I have will... Um, well, I'm just going to use this division button. But anytime you work with uh, improper fractions, your remainder will be your numerator uh, when it turns or is converted to a mixed number. But I'm just press the division button there. Now this time we're going to press in two. And I'm going to hit the unit, and I'm going to put a four for my numerator. And then I'm going to press the numerator key, and then I'm going to press seven. And all I have to do is hit enter, and it tells me 2 and 4 over 54. Now you can't see it, but it's giving me that little symbol that that's not simplified enough.
So I'm going to press the simp button it's for simplify and hit enter. And it says 2 and 2 27. So I notice that symbol's not there. So this says as simplified as it gets. But if you are kind of nervous about that and just want to make sure, you can hit the simplify button again and hit enter, and it will not affect your answer. And you know if it's the same here and here, that this is indeed the simplest form. So that is a brief introduction to how to use the calculator to help you add, subtract, multiply, and divide uh, mixed numbers using the Texas Instrument Model TI-15. Thank you for watching.